Hey everyone, this is Kramon and welcome back to another Ragnarok X Next Generation video. So today I'll be talking about how to actually unlock the Jackdaw NPC favor quest. And yeah, we just got this letter today. Dear adventurer, blah blah blah. He will be answering all your questions. Alright. So first thing you have to do, you have to win the auction wars three times, which is the after the blind beating phase, where you are challenging it out with another person. So you have to max bid the item and hopefully people actually max bid it as well during the blind phase and then you'll be able to progress through to the beating wars, alright? Blind beating doesn't count because I actually bought my weapon during the blind phase. I thought it actually counted but apparently it does not. So I have to buy another 3 gold items there. <laughs> alright, so um, very simple. Um, after you're done with that, of course everything costs money so if you're free to play most likely you won't be able to unlock this one but yeah hopefully in the near future you get like cheap items that you can ask your friends or something to actually help you out to go to the beating wars phase alright so what I actually did here was for my rings and the talisman I had to max beat the blind phase because Everybody who are DPS characters are going for this kind of items because um, we need the crit rate and also the attack. Um, most of the time you'll be able to progress through to the beating wars if you max beat those items alright. So the dragonfly rings and the black dragonfly pearl. Now of course those are not cheap because I think the accessories costed me about... Um, 200k diamonds for one dragonfly ring because that one was actually a little bit on the pricey side. Another one was 150,000 and the black dragonfly pearl actually costed me about 320,000 diamonds which essentially is around I can't count but 53k diamonds is 100 USD right? <laughs> so um, we already got 100% here so all you have to do is just give amethyst to the NPC and at 100% there's this uh, another round of favor quest that you have to do to probably get the high stakes outfit. I guarantee you this is one of the best looking outfits in the game. That's the reason why I actually went for it. And yeah I mean when I decided to play this game I already thought of like spending. So um, why not just get this outfit in the progress as well right so let's just skip all this quests yeah lazy lazy to like read whatever he's like typing <laughs> showing on the screen okay uh, so we need gold cobalt fur and silver all right very interesting mm -hmm. so for the first series of quests we are heading to court forest this is also our first time here so I'm not too sure what level are the monsters on this map but I think we should be good because our stats is actually above average. So we do have about 16k attack right now with about 132k HP. I think that's fine. Um, it is the hammer wielding cobalt. I, I believe it's like further up a little bit. Okay, let's just hit right there. Okay, yep, let's just also this one. So our one nuke, we actually one shot that unit. And oh my crit crit damage isn't looking too good. I, I guess the monster is very high resistance to the poison attribute. <laughs> because usually I do about 38 to 40k damage on medium monsters. On large monsters it's around like 28-29k. So yeah, I, I'm guessing this monster is um, very high resistance to the poison. So doesn't really matter. We are able to actually kill it without any issues. All right? hopefully we can get this last cobalt hair here. Mm -hmm. Oh, we didn't get the drop there. Alright, we are done. We'll head back to the NPC once again in Pontera. I'm so excited to actually unlock this one because it's 
been about 10 days since I unlocked the Jackdaw NPC quest. All you have to do once again is to give the NPC the Amethyst because one Amethyst gives about 2.5% and you probably probably need about 9 to 10 days to complete this 100% uh, on Jackdaw, alright? So once again, I need to win 3 beating wars, alright? Blind face doesn't count. Please take note of that, very important. And yeah, we are able to give the goal as well. And now it's another 20 silver. Oh my god, this actually cost me quite a lot, right? So 20 here will be another 60,000. Oh! <laughs> but I got no choice, right? I can't slowly farm out from mining. Okay, we have to rush this one. Because this is the outfit that I've been looking for since I started this game. I think it's the best one. So we are gonna take the high stakes outfit and we'll be able to pass it over to Jackdaw. I think this is the end of it guys. Come on. Please don't give me anything else <laughs> in terms of quests. Okay, we are gonna change the channel first because there's too many blacksmith like selling items here in this town. Okay. So your custom outfit, surprise. I think this is it. Yeah, I hope you like it. Yes! <laughs> okay. So we'll be able to equip the high stakes outfit. Um, I think it's in the wardrobe. So let's head over there and... Yes! There we go. Okay. Yeah, we are gonna transmog it. Awesome! Good value for money. <laughs> okay, and we also have the headgear, you know? So this is the high stakes gold pick. It's like a pick throwing money on your head, which is actually really cool, right? Uh, we'll be able to equip it as well. There we go. So that's the end of the Jackdaw NPC quest. I really do hope that uh, this explains everything about the how to unlock Jackdaw a favor quest in terms of gifting because I don't think there's many guides on it on YouTube. So yeah, um, hope you like this video. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video as well. Take care, stay safe, and I'll definitely catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.